Hello there, this is Dave Allen, and today we're going to have a look at an application called Molto. I really quite like it, and it's an email application for the iPad. It also works on the iPhone too, and it also works on the Android devices. There's a version for the Android tablets and Android phones. And I've put it onto my uh, Galaxy S3, and it looks okay. It looks a little bit different from what you see on the iOS, but then you'd expect that, wouldn't you? So what have we got? Well, we've got uh, a list of the uh, folders that we run on our email over on the left hand side here and you can choose whichever one you want to look at at the moment I'm looking at this one here iPad info so this is some emails that I get in from a particular place and I can see all these emails in one sort of nice little folder like this and it's really quite different the way it works and I can scroll through these like this look so there you go scrolling through and I can then choose what I want to look at with these so for instance I can tap on the top of that one there and go straight into this uh, email and I can see that it's from whoever it's from. I've got it who it's to, so the particular email they went to. And I can mark it, and I can mark it with a star, which makes it a favourite, or I can mark it as unread. So when I'm looking at it in a different application, it will be there as an unread email. So I maybe need to find it easier, and it will show up better that way. Or I can tap on this one right here, and we go to reply and forward. And uh, you can also get to reply and forward down the bottom here as well. So if I just tap on reply there, we get into this one here where I'm ready for sending an email. And as you can see, I can send a photo in with that as well. So I can use a picture that I've got in the albums there on my photo albums, or I could take a photo using the camera on the iPad, which is a nice thing to do, isn't it? So just cancel out of that for the moment. So another thing that you can do with this as well is that you can tap and hold down and pull down on this here. So you get some quick access to some of the uh, things I've just mentioned already. So the uh, on the left-hand side, you've got your reply, you've got your forward, you've got markers on red, as I said before. You've got this one here, which is the uh, star button, which will make it a favourite within this application. And then I can send it to the archive. So I'll just tap on that there and off it goes to the archive. And all these other uh, emails sort of readjust themselves so that you can um, still have a whole full sort of thing there. Now, if I want to go back as far as the 18th of May, I can tap on that one there and it goes to the 18th of May and all the emails we've got from that date. And I can tap on one of these buttons in between. So I can't see the date in there, but let's see, can I move it across like that? So you can move that across there like that and hold it down, drop it on the fourth one across. And that brings us uh, to a date a little bit closer. You can't see the dates on there as you're doing that, but that doesn't really matter too much. Now, another thing we can do is we can look at these and deal with them in bulk, as it were. So what I can do now is I can tap on the Edit button. And as you can see, I can choose these ones here. So I've got five of those chosen. I could do Select All and choose all of them. So I click on Select All. And it tells me now I've got 50 messages selected. So I want to deselect those. I don't want to do anything with these emails, but if I can help it, because I want to keep them. But what I can do is I can do a move, and from here I can choose to put them into the trash if I want to. I can just select another folder. So I can put them wherever I want to, including put them into trash. Let's cancel out of that. Or I can do a mark with these. So with a mark, I can do the star, markers and red. I can do all of that in bulk, and the same again I can do with the archive. And that will archive them all off into the uh, all mail folder. So that's quite handy. So let's go back over into this again. So we've got some settings that we can look at here. So this is the email account that I've set up with this here. You can set up a signature if you want to. That's uh, quite handy. And you can have it saying that it's been sent from Molto for iPad. If you wanted to, just by tapping on that button there. I'll leave that off for the moment. So just put your signature in there and away you go. Go back into settings. And you get a sound if you've uh, sent a message. You get uh, save the deleted message all into all my folder. That's your uh, archive there. So that's, that's handy. This Facebook setting, basically you connect up to your Facebook and then your friends have got a picture in Facebook. It will show up in this application. We've got some help in here as well. We've got some frequently asked questions that you can have a look at. All of this information is there within this application. So that's quite handy to have some help available. So if I want to write an email, very easy again. Just go to the top right hand corner there and I'll go straight into this. What I can do is I can press on the plus little icon there and I can choose one of my uh, contacts in there. So let's uh, send an email to myself and I can choose which uh, one I'm going to use here. So all I can do is tap on this um, disclosure triangle or arrow pointing downwards over here and I can see the fields for the CC and the blind carbon copy as well. 
So all you've got to do then is to fill in your subject area for the email that you're going to send and then just fill in some details for your email. And that's about all you've got to do. And once again, as I say, you can use this thing over here to take a photo or choose a photograph that you've got in there already. So maybe I want to choose this one here, put it into the uh, email, click on add, and it's going to add that photo into the email. How about that then? Marvellous or what? I'm going to cancel off the moment. I don't need to send that off at the moment. I can save it as a draft if I want to. So let's just discard that and we're back into our email again. Another really handy thing that you can do with this application is that when you go in to have a look at one of your emails, you can have a look at the website that it's come from. So we've got a link here to this website here and it goes into the website actually within this application. So you don't have to have the iPad going off into Safari or Chrome browser. And then you can do whatever you want to do in there. You can continue looking at other things within this here. So the other links in there, for instance. And then when you're finished, click on the close button. That takes you back to the email. And then once again, you can get back into your uh, folder full of emails. So that's a really handy thing. And it's a great way to stay within your email application and not get distracted by one of those little rabbit holes that you might go down into if you get off into a web browser. So there's a couple of nice things that you can do there. I like the fact that we can get into those quite easily. I like the fact that we can see all our emails quickly like this and scroll through them. And it's just a different way of looking at your emails, isn't it? And still get to your list of folders that you're using here for your email. This um, Facebook photo box inbox people that are connected to me through Facebook. I had a look through Facebook and it didn't quite match up with what I got in here, but still. Um, well, actually, it must be a little bit similar because we've got this one here from uh, this C15, which is one of my favourite artists. He's a street artist uh, from um, France. I think he might be in Paris even. And he uh, does some marvellous paintings. And I always uh, like to see what he's done next. In fact, he's a very prolific artist altogether. He's always got something new coming about there. So there we go, we've got our photo inbox there from Facebook, which is a nice little addition to this application. And I think that this application probably will get even better over time. And as you see, I only have starred one um, email so far, but I can use that to find emails quicker. So there you go, this is an application called Molto, and it's a really good email client for the iPad, the iPhone, and for your Android devices as well. And I'd be interested to find out if they're going to do something for the Mac too, because I would use it on the Mac happily also. And I'll talk to you again soon. This is Dave Allen from No Stylus. Bye-bye now.